Hey guys, um, how you doing? Uh, just waving at you here. We're going to try something a little different. We're going to do a video recording of some of the stuff we're going to talk about today. Uh, just so you can pause and stop when you feel like it, uh, when you need to, and we'll just continue on from there. So I really wanted to get the seed lab done uh, today. A lot of you were supposed to share this with me. Uh, I have not received many of them. I only have like two or three. So I was hoping that you'd have that for me today. So um Anyway, I want to walk you through the last couple of things I'm looking for from you to get this lab report all squared away and done. So uh, let's look at that now. So if you remember that I wanted you to make a data table in a Google sh um, Sheets. So if you did that, this is kind of the one I showed you that you would uh, make, and that is incorrect. There's a reason why we weren't getting great data. I would like you to make one that looks like this. Now, um, you needed to have it kind of set up on day one, two, and three with your data going across here, whatever you chose. Like you had water for sure. You might have had coffee and Windex or whatever other ones you used. Um, so when you have it squared away like this, all you're going to do is highlight that, and you can go right-click. Um, no, actually, we're just going to go up here to Insert and a chart thinking I hope anyway try one. oh there we go all right so a chart and we're looking for a uh, Probably a three line graph of some kind. Oh, you know what? I'm going to retry it one more time here. Uh, I want to include I'm just going to pause it for a second since it's taking so long. Oh, here we go. So I want to include the titles as well. And you'll see why in a second. So if I go insert, chart, Monday, Monday. how was your guys' week? It was good. Do, 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 waiting for technology to go. <sighs> All right, so we're going to do the line chart over here because it was a progression of time every time we, uh, collected the data and you have water coffee and windex is its labels here as far as your growth goes so um, so you're going to insert that chart All right, so now, now we have this chart, and this is really, I want this chart in your lab. So one of the things you can do, if you, if you see that I have this, uh, it's called a snipping tool. So it comes up if you search it as the snipping tool, and you can just go new here like that once it's highlighted, and you can actually highlight the table and it comes up with an image like so. There's my head in there too just because of the, how it's formed and I could just copy that if you if it doesn't copy and paste and put it well where in our lab rubric is should it go? So we're probably going to put it in our results information tables and graphs and everything else that needs to go in there. So when I go under my results Uh, you can put it right below your table, right into here. And, voila! Very nice. 
make sure that it has um, like you have a water versus materials up here you have centimeters or millimeters of growth over here um, in the data table here you can't have any labels except for maybe you might you could put later you could put a label like by water of centimeters if that's what you chose to do um, in quotes but uh, otherwise you um you don't want them in each of these spots because otherwise it won't graph it. So just a little pointer there for you. Um, so that's in there now. And I, the last thing I wanted to talk about is our conclusion. So your conclusion is really maybe your most important part of this whole data lab. Um, this really makes you sound as scientific as you are. It also makes you sound um, smarter. Uh, and it's just a good summarization of the information that happened. So, so summarize your data and what trends you saw. So what I want to do when I do that first dot is I really want to summarize my data that happened here as far as including the data that I collected. So maybe I would say something on day one, I saw that there was no Windex growth. There's zero centimeters. So I didn't even include those numbers. And then I would say in coffee, I saw it looks like there's maybe one centimeter of growth uh, and for one of the seeds, whatever it was. You want to include that as well as then I saw maybe uh, 10 centimeters of water. That's probably a little more than you saw, but um, my numbers are just an example. So you're going to say, you know, I, I from after the second and third day, I saw that water was the greatest growth because it averaged you know, maybe it looks like about 10 a day because there's three days and it went up past 30. So it averaged more than 10 centimeters of growth per day, whatever the exact number that you came up with would be. Uh, water or coffee had very small amounts of growth. It only averaged, you know, less than one centimeter. It looks like a quarter of a centimeter a day. And Windex did not grow at all with zero centimeters of growth. So I want to include those data information as well. So now, then, after I do that, so that's probably two or three sentences there, really nice, concrete, what your observations were with exact information. Then I'm going to restate my hypothesis. So my hypothesis was that when, if, and you, you, you stated exactly, if we use water, then, or coffee, or whatever one you thought would work best and really shouldn't have been water it should have been one of the other two that we were testing uh, then I think it would grow better because it helps it adds more nutrients for the seed to grow with it has more nutrients than others something along the lines of that um, so I would say at this point for me I would reject it because I probably would have thought coffee would have helped it more and from my data the water helped it grow more than the coffee did. so I'd be like well I reject this. Some of the reasons that I think that this did not work is because coffee, you know, has must take away some of the nutrients from water. I don't, you'd have to come up with some reasons why it either worked or did not work. It supported your reasoning or didn't support your reasoning. So then ex after that, you were on to discuss some experimental errors. So here you can talk about how maybe um, some of the seeds were not good seeds. They didn't germinate at all. Or you know, maybe Windex, we can say, doesn't grow at all because none of the seeds grew. Or that's why we had five seeds. Maybe some seeds didn't grow at all. Well, maybe those seeds are bad. Or um, maybe there were some, you know, they didn't soak, they weren't on the water, or they weren't on the water of the uh, towel well enough, or some other things that you think could have happened in this experiment. And how would you fix these things in the further, how, how might they change results? So that's a couple sentences right there. If you want to break these up into like small mini paragraphs, I'm kind of okay with that. So there's probably a good little right here. You could keep this together, chunk it, and then boom, what's the next experiment? This might be a new paragraph here. Um, now you might want to talk about like what other types of liquids would you like to choose? Or maybe you want to talk about um, different types of seeds you want to use or types of fertilizer or something else different within the experiment. That's really what you should talk about here as well as what we learned in class. So how this helped you learn about setting up an experiment or 
experiments or controls and variables and independent and dependent variables and stuff like that. So this is a nice little good chunk of the conclusion, uh, conclusion as well. Be careful, don't use a lot of eyes in your conclusion. Um, that makes you sound like you're more invested in your uh, lab opposed to being like a scientist who is just looking for information. So make sure you do that as well. Um, other than that, that's pretty much what I'm looking for from the C lab right now. And I really appreciate it if you could either share with me, share me with those at the end of the hour or before you walk in the door tomorrow. Please, 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 please. Uh, we got to get this done and over. Um, so that is basically what I have for that. Don't forget to sign up for your test retake as well. All right. So that's all for this video. Thanks. We'll uh, talk to you in the room together. So.